Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to use the permission systems, the group system that we have in Magnus Billing in order to um, control what users can do and access. So here's our demo Magnus Billing and to access that you need to go to configurations user group and here we have the default user groups, administrator, agent, and client. I'm gonna show you guys how this works through the administration user group. If you click it, you can see the user group name and user type. If you go to permissions here, you're gonna see this menu here. So what does every checkbox here do? Here, we let's, let's try the IAX menu here. So if I unselect everything from the administra administrator user group, which is the the group this user belongs, and refresh the page, as you guys can see, we no longer have that there. If if we go back to the user group and only enable this, this first checkbox here, as you guys can see, this works like this, the menu and submenus, very easy to understand, but let's see what happens if I only check this checkbox and refresh. Still, we do not have that in the menu. So what does this checkbox do? What it does is, is to allow the user to have access to data related to the submenu in the database. So if we have anything that, um, for example, a submenu that depends on another one that needs some data from that other other submenu, you're gonna you should enable it, and the other submenu will work based on that. Because if you don't, it, they won't. So one example would be with the dead and the destination. So if I do this, then destination dead is not going to work correctly because it doesn't have access to the dids. So, but that's not the point of uh, this tutorial here. So let's go back to IAX. So now if we check menu here, as you guys can guess, um, you're now going to have access to the menu here, but you won't be able to do anything like add, edit or anything. If you even pop up the details here, you won't see any buttons here. So you really cannot do anything. Um, let's go back to the user group and go to the permissions. And now if you, you enable create, you're going to be able to create new entries, update, and delete entries from this submenu. So these are pretty straightforward. What these two last two are, these are related to the desktop template that we sell for Magnus Billing. So this desktop one is if it shows up there and quick in it is if it, it shows in the desktop menu or in the desktop area. This, I'm sorry, this, this is the one for the desktop and this is the one for the quick init, more like the start menu from Windows. So we can enable all of, it, of all of those, save, and now we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to do whatever we want with the IAX menu here. And it and it's also going to show up at our desktop in the, that template and also the start menu. So that's basically how the permission system works here for Magnus Billing. Of course, you can create new user groups and do whatever you want with your users. And I think that's, pre that's pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do like the video and, oh, sorry. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. Sorry for that. Um, just doing a quick recording here. And please check out our other videos. Thank you.